Hey there YouTube, today I wanted to make a video showing how you can install Android on a Mac or a PC. It's really easy. Okay, um, first what you're going to want to do is I'll have a link in the description. You're going to want to click on it and you'll see this then. It's going to say you'll need to grab the Android X86 ISO here. So you're just going to click on it and it'll start downloading. I already got it so I don't need to get that again. Um, but after that's done downloading on a Mac, you're going to want to get something called VMware Fusion. Wait, actually, no, it's VMware. What is it? Yeah, Fusion. Sorry. You can get um, a free trial, or you can just um, do VMware Fusion. Um, torrent and I have a video showing you how you can download torrent so you can just download this right here it'll take maybe about an hour to download but if you're on a PC you're going to want to download virtual PC 2007 you're just going to go to microsoft.com and if you have um, a 32 bit computer download this one if you have a 64 bit computer download this one so once it's done downloading um, it's really easy to get it all set up. Virtual PC and um, VMware are very uh, similar. So let's just launch up VM. I already got this set up, but I'm just going to delete it. Okay, so we're going to create a new virtual machine. And when you open a virtual PC, this should come up already. Um, you're going to want to click on use an operating system image. What? Yeah, use an operating system installation disk image file. And it's right here Android x86 1.6. Continue. For the operating system, then you're going to want to click on other. And then on VMware, you're going to click on other again, not 64 bit. Then when you're done, you're going to want to customize the settings and you can name it whatever you want. I'll name it Android. And you can, I'm going to put the hard drive to about 11, 12 gigabytes. And if you want to make it faster, I usually set uh, my RAM to, let's just set it to 600 right there. And then all I have to do is just boot it up. Now the thing is, for some reason, it doesn't really install, and I really don't get it. Here, watch, if I go to installation... It says uh, modify create patterns, detect devices, uh, it detects one, then zero. Create modify patterns. It's just kind of confusing. I don't really get it. So, I don't know. It's really confusing. So, if you figure that out, just tell me. So then I'm going to reboot it. And what you're going to do then instead is you're just going to click on Live CD right there and press Enter. And sometimes you might get like a really ugly screen for a second. It'll look really bad. Mine doesn't do it. If it does, it's okay. I'll just let it load. And it should be pretty fast. The nice Android logo there. And there you go, you're on Android, and your internet actually works, so I want to go to, and it's really fast, it doesn't really even have a lag at all, and it's just super fast, you can just use your trackpad. Um, the thing that I was confused about at first was how you go back to the home page, you just press the escape button, and keep pressing it until you get back to the home page. There you go. And then over here you've got your apps. Currently it doesn't have, um, the the marketplace on it but I will create another video um, how to install the marketplace on here also the sound on here doesn't work but that's okay I mean you got Android on your laptop now that's pretty cool yeah so um, you got your browser 
uh, the camcorder and stuff doesn't really work. So, I think you can get a driver for your laptop somehow. But, you know, you got your, your original settings and everything. You don't really need to mess with these very much. And another thing, to change the wallpaper, um, right-click on your computer. I have a Mac, so I just right-click with two fingers. And you can also control everything with the arrow keys and the shift bar. I mean, in the enter key. I'm doing that right now. It works really good. So yeah, that is getting Android on your laptop. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks, YouTube.